it's Trey Monet back to y'all with another video. So in today's video, I will be going ahead and showing you guys how I edit my boutique photos. So I actually just finished taking photos, which is why my face all beat normally. Only time I've been doing makeup during quarantine is when I'm taking pictures or because I don't go anywhere. So yeah, my face beat right now because I just finished taking pictures. So let me just go ahead and start screen recording for y'all. But yeah, just finished taking pictures and some of our new arrivals that will be launching on the site this Friday. So I'm super excited about those. Um, just trying to incorporate some of those summer styles but still have fall vibes. So I have a lot of summer styles that are fall colors that I'll be incorporating just to kind of make it a swift and easy transition for my audience and everything like that. So I'm super excited about our new arrivals. Um, have, we have lo loungewear and then a couple other different like pieces that you can wear out or you can wear around the house if you want. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. Let me turn my brightness up so I can see. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and figure out which photo I want to edit. So as you guys can see, I literally have, I literally take about over a hundred photos per look or per style per color as well so as y'all can see like this um brown little jumpsuit two-piece whatever you want to call it literally i took so many photos in that just either just be just in case i don't like any of them or what have you like i just always take a lot of photos same with this um navy color and all of that jazz but we're gonna go ahead and edit this green so what i usually do is I click on the photo as y'all can see my eyes closed right here and it's a little blurry I click on the photo and to see if I like it so this gives me a lot of options so I just scroll through and if I like it I'll favorite it and when I'm going through and I'm doing my edit process this allows me to know which photos I actually like so I'm not like going through and re-looking at every single last photo because you guys can see it's like over a hundred photos so I usually just go through and look at all of these photos and just to see which ones I like. As you guys can see as well, um, in my previous How I Take My Photos um, video, I had a completely different backdrop. I was using like seamless paper backdrop, which I really like, but I'm just trying something new for right now. I just really want to try different types of content just to see what gets the most engagement. So I'm just trying different things. So I just get this little makeshift backdrop, which I'm sitting on this little couch here. And then I have my plant and my mirror over there. So yeah, I'm just trying to see what works at this point. But yeah, I usually just go through, see what photos I like. And this ultimately helps me decide um, which photos I'm gonna go through and edit. when I tell you I was sucking in on some of these because your girl ain't been working out how she should, should or supposed to be working out okay so I definitely had to catch some good angles with some of these all right so that's that's good enough y'all get the gist so just for the purposes of this video I may or I may not use some of these but what I'm gonna do is go over here to my photo and video um, little tab box on my phone and I have everything that I use for um, content or creating content or anything like that. So I have iMovie, I have Canva, I have Facetune 1, Facetune 2, Mojo, Square Ready, Collageable, Photo Grid, all of that good stuff. But the only two that I actually really use is Facetune, just a regular Facetune and Collageable. So first thing I'm gonna do is just open Facetune I was already um, editing a photo. So we're just gonna go to open photo. So then we're gonna go over here to favorites. So these are all of the favorites that we um, already have on here. So what I'm gonna do is just click one. I actually don't wanna do that one. So let's go back. I'm gonna do, let's do this one. Okay, this is a good one to do. Although my feet cut off a little bit, it's all right. 
So first thing I like to do is to do anything pertaining to the background, anything pertaining to just the background in general. So you see over here, I have these plants. So what I'm gonna do is go down here to my toolbar. So primarily the tools that I usually usually always use, it's whiten, smooth, detail, shape, patch, tones. Oh, my bad, y'all. <laughs> I use, um, I don't use all of these tools, but these are the ones that I use generally the most. So I'm gonna go over here to details. So I kind of want this plant to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna tap on details just to kind of make it a little bit more detailed and all of that good stuff. So this little button right here with the squares, it'll show me how it looks before and it'll show me after. So it really didn't do too much, but you know, for my own sanity, I always do it. So I also will zoom into my jewelry and then I'll make that stand out a little bit more as well. Go to my necklace, millionaire, period. <laughs> I also go over to, you can't see my earrings, so I'll do my watch. And then I always usually do the polish on my toes. If y'all don't judge my toes, I need a pedicure real bad. So that's usually all what I do for that. So smooth is one of my actual favorite tools just because it kind of makes everything look a lot more seamless. So I'm gonna take this first one. You don't wanna use the smoother one because then that's when stuff starts looking a little fake. You wanna be real gentle with it. So I'm gonna smooth out my stomach here just to kind of make my stomach look a little bit more smooth. Go right here, smooth out my contour, my hairline real bad pimple right here so if you have a pimple or something that you want to get rid of go to patch go to patch and put this whatever um part so basically there's two different sections that you can um patch if that makes sense i feel like i'm not explaining that right but i feel like y'all get it so right here on this one, the one that's in the center of my forehead, you can see this is collecting from my eye. But if I move it, it'll collect from my forehead. And I'm just gonna move it down a little bit to kind of completely get rid of that pimple that was just there. Boom, voila, magic. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to that smooth and we're gonna just smooth it out right there a little bit just to kind of make it a lot more smooth. Right. Another thing I like to do as well is just to go over here to whiten. And I like to whiten my eyes just because it gives it a nice little pop. I also like to whiten my highlight areas. So I just do like little taps. And then right here where my lip gloss is, I'm going to whiten that as well just because it's going to make it look like as if it was more shiny. So I did that as well. So as you can see already, this photo looks a lot better. So I'm going to go back to smooth smooth out my arms a little bit. And then what else do I should I smooth? So right here you can see my panty line. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit. Didn't do too much, but okay. Alright. Next thing I like to do is you see where my breasts are. If I want to make them look a little bit more defined, which they already are, but I just like to, I just tap a little bit and it just makes them look a little bit more defined, like a little bit more cleavage. And that's pretty much it. Literally, I don't do much. Like, um, If you guys have a good ring light, you guys have a good camera, you don't have to do much when it comes to editing your photos. And editing your photos is definitely something that hinders a lot of people from starting boutiques or from um, uploading different types of content just because they feel like the quality isn't that good. So if you invest in good quality um, products or electronics or whatever, so a good quality phone, I always shoot with my iPhone 11 Max Pro. And then I always just have a basic ring light that I got from um, Best Buy. I don't have any expensive camera that I shoot with. Like the camera that I'm recording on now is a $600 camera but I only use that for YouTube. I always just use my phone just because I like the quality of my phone better and it's just easier for me to go ahead and edit, upload on Instagram, upload to my site, all of that real easy on my phone rather than 
getting the camera, having to, I mean, my camera has Wi-Fi, but having to put that on my computer when I like to just generally do everything with my phone. So I would suggest you guys to just invest in qualities because it saves you a lot of time. And we all know time is money, period. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys need more details or um, have any questions rather about how to go ahead and edit your boutique photos, please let me know um, any of your questions down below or you can always hit me up in my DM. Always happy to answer any questions. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.